We are backstage in Melbourne, Australia. I'm joined by Kelvin Gastelum, who was supposed to be competing here in the main event against Robert Whitaker. You're holding the belt because, as you told me earlier, in wrestling, if you don't show up for competition, it's a forfeit victory. Tell me about this. Absolutely. In my world, in the wrestling world that I grew up with, guy shows up to make weight, for whatever reason he can't continue, then that's a forfeit. I win. I'm the automatic champion. Where'd you get that belt? I earned this belt. No, I, t I totally understand. It has to be a very frustrating and heartbreaking situation, not only putting in the work to compete for the world title, but also traveling this far to be here. Um, you told me that UFC staff knocked on your door this morning. What was the messaging to you? Yeah, they just said, uh, we want you to find out before you go on Twitter and Instagram and find out yourself. They wanted to make sure uh, they came to me in person and, and tell me the bad news. And obviously, I was devastated. All the crying was done earlier, so I'm not going to cry in front of you guys. Hey, no one would blame you if you cry. There's a lot of emotion that goes into this. Um, you know, if all goes well with Robert's surgery, it could be four to eight weeks until he starts training again. Is this something where you wait until that opportunity presents itself again to compete for for the title against Whitaker? Yeah, you know, obviously I wish Robbie a speedy recovery and all the best and 100% recovery, and I have nothing but respect for him, and I know things happen, you know what I mean? This is an unpredictable sport. Um, that being said, he heals up 100%. I don't know when his turnaround might be, but, you know, as soon as he heals up, I'll give him a crack at my title for sure. And uh, you told me that some downtime might be needed because not just the physical labor of a training camp, but the emotional and mental stress. It, it's got to be draining on you. How are you feeling about all this? Honestly, I was just looking forward to going back home at this point. I mean, I, I'm physically and mentally and, and even spiritually drained from this fight camp. And all of my emotions were pointed, and, and were pointed towards this objective. And now that's out the window completely. You know, and I get to go home and decompress a little bit and figure out the next move. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Kelvin, you're a really classy guy for not only doing interviews, but doing them so beautifully and respectfully. So we do appreciate your time. I hope to see you in that octagon soon. Appreciate Thanks. It,